Hey guys, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I'm gonna discuss about trapezoidal rule for the method of integration. There are some additional methods also like Simpson 1 by 3 rule, 3, Simpson 3 by 8 rule, and we will discuss about each and every method uh, one by one. And here in this video, I will be discussing about the trapezoidal rule. And here, first of all, I would like to take you through the formula, and then we will see an example based upon the trapezoidal rule. So without any further delay, let's get started. So our trapezoidal rule says that integration of fx dx from limit lower limit a to b will be given by will be equal to h times y0 plus y1 by 2 plus y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus dot 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 yn minus 1 if we have taken n n is actually the number of intervals number of intervals and if we have assumed that n is equals to 10 then y n minus 1 be, will be equals to y 10 minus 1 means y 9 and uh, uh, you will be more, cl more clear if uh, I will solve an example based upon this uh, uh, formula or based upon this rule and the second one is the, we have the the second line is the same formula here the thing which we have done here is we have just taken this two common see here we have uh, two terms here first one is y0 plus y1 by 2 and the second one is y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus dot 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 yn and here we need to take two common so we can divide and multiply this we can multiply this and divide this by 2 by 2 so we can take this lower two common so, so we have brought it here and remaining two is here as it is now uh, what is h so from here from the formula we can you can uh, clearly come to know that what is h h is actually the difference between the upper limit minus lower limit divided by the number of interval and uh, we need to calculate the value of h when we are solving the an example so without any further delays let let us solve an example quickly and uh, from there we will come uh, you will be more clear about how to calculate the value of h and how to take n and uh, finally we will uh, get the final solution as per the trapezoidal rule of that example so here is the example So guys, uh, if you compare this equation or this portion which we have pro asked to pro find the integration of, we can if we compare this with this uh, as per the from the formula, then we will have here we have a equals to zero and b is equals to six. Now from here let us calculate h. So we have h equals to a sorry b minus a upon n. So put the value of b equals to six minus 0 upon n now how to take the number of interval it it is totally up to you and one thing more uh, trapezoidal rule is uh, valid for both the odd and even functions so here we can take n as per our convenient we have here h equals to 6 means h is equals to 6 means we have the height equals to 6 suppose uh, if we assume uh, here a, a line which, uh, which is at the bottom so it is 6 and here the total height will be from here up to here it is 6 now we can divide this from 0 to 6 span into number of equal intervals suppose this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 and finally 6 so let us take an n is number of interval means difference between 0 to 1 is 1 1 to 2 is 1 again 2 to 3 is 1 so we if we take n equals to 6 then we will have here h will be equals to 1 so see here guys n is actually the number of interval as you can see from 0 to 1 is one interval 1 to 2 is another interval 2 to 3 is another interval and 3 to 4 is another similarly 4 to 5 and 5 to 6 are the number of intervals so we have taken number of intervals equals to 6 and h, h is the height from 0 to 1 the height is 1 or if we take it in unit it is just for example 
uh, for your understanding if we take h equals to 1 meter so 0 to 1 is 1 and 1 meter 1 to 2 is another 1 meter and uh, 2 to 3 is another 1 meter and from here suppose this is our point b then 0 to 2 will be 2 meter and that is our uh, height now after calculating height we need to draw a table here and uh, let us draw a table so guys here is a table and uh, see here guys uh, these are the intervals here this is at 0 means this is x node similarly x1 x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 and these uh, are represented here now what we need to do is we have to put the value of corresponding value of x here in this term fx equals to 2 by 1 plus xq and after putting that we will get the value of y calculate the value of fx so how we can do this simply see here we have 2 upon 1 plus xq so 2 upon 1 plus and x in place of x we will put 0 and that is going to be our x node 0 to the power 3 so here we will have 2 similarly this is our x1 this is x node x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 and similarly we will have this value as y node y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 so on putting the value in similar way say in second step we will have 2 we will have 2 upon 1 plus and in place of x1 we will put x1 equals to 1 so 1 to the power 3 and from here we will have 1 so on putting the value in similar way we will get the value accordingly 2 1 0 0.22 0 0.07 0 0.03 0 0.01 and here we will have 0 0.009 so we can write it as you do not when writing in exam simply you can write it as 0 0.01 it won't create any problem now after calculating this value simply put this value in the formula and we have integration of and this time we will put we have this equation and we will simply rewrite it here a b f x d x equals to h by 2 y naught plus y1 plus 2 times y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus dot 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 dot, dot plus y n minus 1 and bracket close so and our equation is integration of 0 to 6 integration of 0 to 6 and fx is given as 2 upon 1 plus x cube dx now put the value of h we have h equals to 1 so 1 upon 2 and bracket starts y note and we have y note equals to 2 plus and y1 and we have y n we have n is equals to 6 n is equals to 6 so y y6 here this is our x node and this is our xn xn means uh, x6 this is x6 so here we will have y n y6 equals to 0 0.01 so put the value 0 0.01 plus 2 times y1 is y1 is 1 plus y2 is 0 0.22 plus 0 0.07 plus 0 0.03 plus yn minus 1 this is yn equals to 6 6 minus 1 y5 is 0 0.01 now bracket close and find the final answer and on solving this we will get 2.23 sorry 2.335 and this is our answer and the solution of the given equation using trapezoidal rule if you want some more examples on trapezoidal rule then leave a comment in this video and see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself